Hello there, I'm Alberto and welcome back to Astray. In the last episode, we managed to get through the Atlantis section and now we can finally find out what is behind this mystery door. So, let's do it. Squeak. Squeak. And now, the final lock. Will that be cake? Will it be a boat? We'll find out now. Is it a boat? Is it a boat? Oh man, it's just a hallway. Chair. Yeah. That sucks. Okay, anything else along here? Okay, it's getting darker. Uh, uh, since there's already been one month, I'm expecting them to probably ramp it up because it's starting to get darker. There's more hallways. I knew it! Let me get a look at you. That looks like a mummy. Let's get some meat on your bones, boy! Okay, so I, I, I assume this is not all just... One Egyptian sex, okay. It's going that way. All right, let's have a little look, see about. Okay, I can only assume he's going to come this way. Then he's going to walk along here and come at me, bro. Come at me, bro! I've got a box. You know, I'll make it easy for you. Yeah, you want some? You want to play with me? Do you want to bring it, sucker? Yeah. Can't see me. Behind a box. Poop. 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 I like to pretend that's what I'm doing. God, he's coming this way. I assume you can't hear me. I, I don't know how well the acoustics travel in this game. I don't know what distance I can be heard. Because it said, do not sprint. Because they may be able to hear you. So, my god, you walk so slow. Sneaky, sneaky. So, I put a couple box in the air, and I'm really hoping that he doesn't turn around now. I don't know even know if it's he, it might be a she, it might be a lady mummy. <laughs> that box did nothing. Okay. What's good in here? Yeah, there's a note here. Professor Walker's Diary, 7th of December, 1908. What once had up me overcome with joy now fills me with dread. The crystal shard I have cherished these last weeks seems to be very different to me. Physically, it appears the same, but I can just... Can f but I feel I can't bear to be in its presence anymore. Could it just be that I'm tired of the artifact after showing it so much admiration for so long? Maybe. Okay, that room's locked. I like the way you actually have to get your flashlight out. That's pretty cool. Little piece of jam. Maybe it can be pried open. Oh, that, that, that creeped me for a second, I could just see the reflection. Nothing down here. Okay, um, onwards and upwards, what have we got in here? Ah. We're in the library. I don't like this for some reason. Goba. Oh, hello. Professor Walker's Diary, 10th of December, 1908. I received word in the mor this morning that Henry Turner has gone missing. 
The police dropped in to question me after Henry's sudden disappearance, as he went missing shortly after the pre-opening party last week. I of course gave them my complete cooperation, although I couldn't provide any information as to his whereabouts. I cannot help but feel partially responsible that his disappearance was somehow connected. Probably was. Dungon murdered him! Please tell me there's not a thing down here. I really do not like this room! F fuck, I do not like this room. That makes me think there's mannequins underneath here. The right book leads away. I don't fucking like this room! I don't like this room! Fuck my life. There was a thing. There's a lady stood in that painting. There's no longer a lady stood in the painting. I don't like this! It looks as if they just moved their chair aside, jumped out of the fucking painting. <sighs> I don't want to go down here anymore. I just move the cable out of my way just in case it's a jump. Cause That was quite well done. I, I thought there was something peculiar about having a painting like that. Okay. The right book. The uh, right book. Aha! Oh god! It's another one of those things. Oh, this is something. Why have you stopped breathing? God. Why is that pedestal that's no longer?
Go, go, go into the room. It's as a boy, though. I do not want to go into. All right. Professor Walker's diary, 22nd of December, 1908. I have now. I now we have no doubt that something is amiss. How could something like this happen? Four people have gone missing in the past month, all of whom are, were present at my pre-opening party. Of those who attended, only three remain, Amelia, James and myself. I fear that there may be a madman targeting the museum, perhaps some deranged killer coming after me. And all that I own, I must hide this yard. Some place where no one will find it. It's good. Oh god. So we're gonna have to go down this dark, dingy, dangerous. I don't like this. I love the environment in this game though, fucking hell. Thought I heard a something. I thought I heard a something. Not not a game something, a real something. But I think it was just a boiler shutting off. Okay, something just loaded in. I really don't know, do not know what it is about those things, but it's just, I'm certain at some point in this game there's going to be something hidden underneath one of those things and it's going to really fuck me and that looks like a really awesome puzzle. That really does look like such an awesome puzzle. Okay. So I'm guessing I'm gonna have to write it down with a book box or something, then leg it then jump! Aha! That was so cool. <laughs> I like that. Seriously. Can we not have that? Less of that please. Cause those I find more creepy than anything else in the game right now okay we're slowly making our way through oh I thought there was something hanging out of the wall then but it was just one of those people things okay awesome we're in a new area Ah, here we are. Professor Walker's Diary, 24th of December 1908. I took the crystal shard down into the storage area in the basement where it could be hidden. On the way I discovered a loose brick in the wall. There appears to be a sizable hollowed out passage behind it. Strange still, the shard glows and resonates wildly as it approaches. Could the shard somehow be linked to this location? What does it all mean? I must see what is behind this wall. Wait. That looks like a gun. Ah! I have the key so I can go up now. Okay, so something interesting must be up there. I love these. They, they're so precarious and dangerous, but they're so cool. I'm guessing that's a planetarium. It's beautiful. Wow, that's awesome. Alright, it's a 
first you don't. Oh fuck, I just got totally um lost. Okay, so I suppose I'm to go down here. Fingers crossed there's not gonna be anything down here that wants to murder me. Looks like a puzzle. Leapers? Okay. Orion. Monosaurus. Canis Major. Gemini. Nothing nurse. Pillar. Okay, I have no idea what any of that means, but I'm sure we'll find out. I really want to know what, who that person in the painting was. I, 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 it looks a little bit like um, a French Korean or something. I'm not very good with my historical person faces though, so I can't tell you for the life of me. But it looked like one of them. Um, more, more important, I suppose, I want to know where the bloody hell they went. 175, stay in the lab. That's so nice. I can't help but feel that something bad's gonna happen. Three hundred. One hundred. No clue what any of that means. This looks good. Never scary doorway. Oh, just a boarded shot one. Fourth of January, nineteen oh nine. Dear Rupert. I have acquired the explosives you asked from Bella. As expected, she was reluctant at first, but she yielded once I explained our purpose. She expressed an interest in joining us, and I told her that she could. I hope you don't mind, but I feel it was the only way to help convince her to help. I've left the explosives with one of your servants, who was instructed to place them in the storage cupboard in anticipation for tomorrow's expedition. I brought a few spare sticks, should we encounter other obstacles once inside? Regards, John. Okay. Okay, so what I know is the thing goes one, three, four. No. Oh, I know now. I, I think I've got it. Okay. Oh. I'll bug, bug the game out again. All right. But I think I know what I've got to do with that. I think it's something to do with where they, when you adjust the height of it, would be what number you're looking at, and then you've got a. All right. I have no idea what I've got to do. Actually, thinking about it, I I have no idea. However, I'm sure I'll be able to work it out in the next episode. Anyway, I've been El Bordo. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please leave a comment, a like, or anything you want, or subscribe if you haven't already, and if you really want to. If you enjoyed this video, then I really hope you will. Anyway, take it easy, guys. I'll see you next time.